All right, this puppy is fully welded up. I added another hanger right in the center down there just to hold this in place for you to install it because there's V-bands here and the hangers are on the back side of the V-band. So it's gonna be really difficult to get this centerpiece in um, by getting those two exhaust downpipes on as well as getting this set into place without the hangers. So you can always use the hangers here and the V-bands with this center uh, hold in order to get the center section installed. So now we're working on the muffler and the muffler here is going to be tilted vertically. As you can see, I have it basically set in space exactly where I want it. And I have my tubes that are coming basically under the diff and both of those are going to end up coming right into that muffler. From the muffler, well, we'll get to that later. back in Meyer for just a quick second, huh? We have now connected both pipes to the inputs of the muffler and all of these, this is a lap, this is a slip joint here. So this pipe is actually inside of this pipe. This pipe is inside of the muffler. The outer diameter is just slightly larger. This here is a, uh, is a, is a butt joint, right? They're just basically two exact diameters that are put together. But when we weld this all up, you really won't notice any difference between the two types of joints. But we have the muffler hanging in space now. The only hangers that we have here are here and here. And with the added weight of this muffler, if I let this down right now, it'll sink lower than what I want. So what I need to do is weld another bracket on top that connects to this guy. Muffler with the top and the bottom outputs. I made two flare pieces. One's gonna go on the top, the longer one, so I can have my exhaust hanger hang from it. And the bottom one is smaller. In fact, I'm gonna be cutting this part of the muffler back, and then I'm gonna be welding this guy on like that because I need as much room as I can get to make my bend in order to meet this guy's bend on the other side. We're gonna have two exhaust tips coming out just like that, and be coming out longer. But this is the way I wanna do this. So what I need to do is weld this guy onto the top part of the muffler first, weld my hanger, and then everything's gonna fall and droop just a tiny bit because of the weight, and then I'll know exactly where these exhaust tips are gonna hang in space. Now these are all MIG tacked and they are stainless steel MIG with a stainless steel wire and a helium gas mix, mix, which is why these are a little bit dirty, but that's okay, they clean up really, really nice. The rest of this is gonna be pie cut TIG welded in order to give you a really nice area over here, nice polished look. If you look at the back side of the car, you're going to see this hanger, but this top piece of pipe is actually gonna be curving around with pie cuts and going to this side right here. So you're never gonna be able to see this anyway. So it doesn't matter. Only time you'll see it is when the car is up in the air. And at that point, who just cares, right? Who cares? So I wanna take this and bring it down and um, see, how it, see how it looks. All right, now that this is ready to go, as you can see, I welded um, this piece up here, but I also welded another piece up here that's to prevent this from bending. And actually, the whole thing moves really, really nice. It's very stout in there, if you will. It doesn't move a lot at all. It doesn't hit anything, so it's floating, literally floating on rubber, rubber mounts, which is exactly what we want. This guy is already tack welded in here. We're gonna end up tigging all this. And here we need to cut this back because this guy is going to need to make a lot more of a swooping um, angle in order to get to the other side of the tailpipe because this guy is going to end up coming around like this and this guy is going to come up and over and hit on the other side. And that is the plan moving forward. So let's cut that guy. Let's cut this and let's start making our bends.
tips are now done. Everything is tacked. All the pie cuts are exactly where I want them and I am just about done. Still need to weld this entire back half of the exhaust and I'm gonna be doing MIG stainless steel welding on the first part of the back half and in this part, the tailpipes are all gonna be TIG welded and then polished up. So for those of you concerned about the lens flare that you can see on the video, that is right. And I gotta figure out how to deal with that. That's like the one casualty for doing this exhaust, getting really close up. Video and pictures does have a problem, especially when you're working with a very, very splattery stainless steel exhaust welding system. It splatters all over the place. And in this case, it splattered the, the, the glass. So let's bring this puppy down and let's just see what, uh, what, what it looks like from normal view and from a normal height. Looks like a pretty normal exhaust to me, huh? So for those of you who are concerned about the twists and turns, don't be. Can't notice them. In fact, I think it's a nice design feature that I would like to highlight. So unfortunately, the fact that you can't really see them is kind of a bummer to me, actually. But the idea with this swap is that it gets concealed. Now, for those of you who are concerned about the exhaust being too low with that vertical muffler, don't be, because the muffler is not even nearly closest to being the lowest point in the exhaust system. In fact, the lowest point is where those two pipes go underneath the rear subframe. That is going to end up being the lowest point in the system. And honestly, it's no lower than stock because the stock pipes also went underneath the rear subframe as well. So guys, I'm sad to say that the most exciting part of the exhaust is just about done. I had the most fun part of this entire swap, getting the exhaust designed and figuring out and solving all those little problems in order to get the routing, not only design friendly, but also functional and meets all of my customers' requirements. We got two mufflers, we have two cats, we have two resonators. This thing is gonna be quieter than the normal LT LS swap that you're used to because, hey, I got someone who wants a nice, comfortable car that is a sleeper, a powerful sleeper. And I'm glad to be a part of this program with him. Guys, that's it for me. I think I'm done. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you're interested in seeing more about this, subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks, guys.